Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at auto-incrementing primary keys. So I'm going to drop my users table again, get rid of it, and uh, I've got to actually write drop table users in there. And now I'm going to recreate the table similar to what we had before. So what we had before was something like this, create table users, and the columns are ID int, which is the primary key. We've got name text and email text. But actually, for the purposes of this tutorial, let's just let's just have a name in there because it'll save a little bit of time. Um, so um, the 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 only sort of problem with this, uh, which is a sort of problem, is that. The ID field here, um, we have to invent a unique value for it. Now, sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you're running some software or something and you naturally get an ID uh, when a user creates a, an, a new account, let's say, on your system and you want to insert that ID into the database. And uh, there are ways, of, of course, of doing queries and checking that the new ID is unique, this sort of thing. But sometimes it's nice if you can just get MySQL to invent an ID for you. And you can do that by making the primary key auto increment. So let's let's drop this users table again. I'm gonna go back to the stuff that I just typed. And I'm gonna, after primary key, so before the comma, I'm gonna type auto underscore increment. So this is a very MySQL specific keyword. And what it does is it means that you can do inserts without specifying an ID. And the ID that will be assigned to each row will just be incremented or increased from whatever the last value that was used was. And it's going to start at one. So let's create that table now. And we'll say insert into users. And now I won't specify an ID. So I'll just specify the one column we've got now, which is at the moment, it's just the name column. And we'll say values. And by the way, I did a bit of checking. And apparently, um, I, although I've always mixed double and single quotes, except where I was using a database that really wouldn't accept one or, one or the other, apparently single quotes are considered a kind of default standard thing to use in SQL. But my SQL seems to be just fine with double quotes. Anyway, let's insert something into there. Let's insert Bob. That's the quotes around your um, text values, your string values. So we'll insert that and we'll do a select star from users, select star from users. And we can see that we've inserted Bob and even though we didn't specify an ID this time, and even though it's a primary key, so it has to have a value, we can see that because it's auto increment, it's automatically assigned Bob the value of one. And of course, if you insert another value, let's insert another one, then it's going to go to two, as you might expect. So let's take a look here. And now it's two. Uh, now, MySQL won't allow zero in an auto increment column. So let's take a look at that. Uh, supposing we do specify the ID and we specify it, let's say, as three or any number greater than two, that's going to work. And we can do the select now. And we see that the ID value of three, which we have specified for this auto increment column now, it, MySQL will accept that just fine. It's going to accept any valid value here, which is going to be anything other than zero or some value that we've already got in this column or some value that's too big to fit in there, which would be a really big number. But if we, um, if we try to insert zero, we get different results. Now, um, this depends on your settings. I'm pretty sure that in the past I've tried to do this and it just hasn't run the query. So I'm sure that's configurable. But if we just run this now and we do a select on it with the settings that I've got here, which is pretty much the, yes, yeah, it's, it's just the out of the box settings that it came with. What happens is if you specify zero for an auto increment column, as we just did, just right here, then um, it just kind of ignores the zero and it, proceeds as though you hadn't specified any value for it. So it will give us give it the next available ID in the sequence. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Have a go yourself. Create a table with a primary key, if you want to, that is, 
try inserting into it and uh, also see what happens if you try to insert zero on your, your system. Maybe it won't run the query or maybe it will just ignore it and insert an auto-incremented value in any case. So until next time, happy coding. <laughs>